All right, this Hawk Sky Flyer. Gonna do a quick video of our our new camper. <laughs> and you all think I'm weird. <laughs> That's the wife I get to see that nobody else sees. But <laughs> but it's uh, Cedar Creek Silverback, made by Forest River. It's got a new front cap on it. I'll just try to do a quick video, but. My videos never turn in quick. They're always long. But anyway, it's got the new uh, design on it. This is the 2015. It's got LED lights up here in the front, which, I don't know. I'm kind of coming off. A little shoe goo will hold that on there. But um, I'll try to quick run through the features of this. There's a lot of videos on this. There's a lot of videos on the camper here, but none of them are really um, help. They don't help you on what you want to know. So. My orientation yesterday was about three hours on this, but the meat of it, what I wanted to know is how does the hydraulics work, because I'm not really familiar with hydraulics. But um, I do have the six-point leveling system there, there, and then behind the wheels, a chopper, chopper, chopper. And uh, it's got uh, 50 amp, and the reason it has 50 amp is because it is plumbed for two ACs at the roof. There is one, a 15K. You know, look, pelicans. But there's one up there, and it's plumbed for the second in the bedroom, which we probably, we might add, I don't know, but that's down the road. That's not necessary right now. But I had to buy this. They, they give you the adapter, but you got to run the 50-amp cord first, which is that big honker way over there. It's like, yeah, this is what they give you. And But they're still like $30, $25, $30. I have way too many 30 amp cords not to use them. But anyway, the hydraulics are actually right here, these three buttons. Uh, one is for the main slide, one is for the, the opposing slide, and one is for the bed. What you can do, if you only want one to come out, say you only want the bed to come out, you turn these two. Oh, they're open. That's why they're tight. So I better not do that. You turn these clockwise. You shut the valves off. You shut these two valves off and op leave this one open. And only the bed slide will come out, um, which is really cool. You can fill your freshwater tank is here. You can see it's. You can either do a city or turn it down there and, and just do uh, um, the uh, the tank. You can fill the, the freshwater tank. It has a battery cut off here, which is cool. Everything is located right here, which I'm going to take this off, get this out of the way. There is a, the back flush right here that is actually, uh, it's kind of like the one I had on my uh, Copper Canyon, but uh, he said it, it does spin. So I suppose it'll spin until something gets stuck on it. But we got the black water tank, the gray water tank, and the galley. So I've got, oh, i got two tanks, okay. So i got a bath tank and a galley tank. Huh, I just noticed that. Comes already plumbed for uh, winterization, and this is the hose. It's just shoved up in there. You plug in, or you just shove into the uh, your uh, antifreeze. <clears throat> Has an onboard filtration system, which I did find that the, the filters, when you add the filters, they tend to really slow the water pressure. So I'll have to try it. Our first one was a Sierra, and that's what it was, a Forest River Sierra. But this one is a uh, Copper uh, Cedar Creek. So I'll have to see if that filters. If it is, then the filter comes out, and I'll just put the regular inline one that goes up to your water hose. But you can see it's, hopefully you can see, it's a huge area. There's no plumbing in here other than this one right here. And that's, I think that's the vent, because right there, that's going under underneath the bed. I don't get it, but I'm, I'm just just at the tail end of a head cold, so but that's all the, the duct worked. Everything is this high, so it's really, really nice in here. It's, it's huge open, and this here, this is all your, uh, all your plumbing. The water pump is right there. Um, there is no P-trap anymore in here. Way back in there at the top, the big white, probably can't see it. Way back in there, and you probably can't see it because it's too dark, but that is actually... I forgot what they call it, but that is supposed to help let everything go down the drain instead of catching it in a P-trap. But that's kind of cool. And this in here, in the front compartment here, 
you have your battery and this switch here operates all three slides again or if you can turn the, turn the valves in there that'll actually uh, close one or two or three or whatever you want but this will actually operate that and this is the self leveling system which it's real intimidating I suppose it tells you how to operate it here but I will uh, I will have to learn how to do that um, it's really cool though <laughs> you just put the front legs down <clears throat> You go in the menu and put the front legs down, and then just hit auto level. And all the sacks, six jacks come down, and it, whatever it needs, it, it just automatically does it. It's really cool. This storage space up here is really huge. Um, downfall is it, it still needs one class, but it's got two. But but it is a heavy door, and these are, they're solid. They're, it's solid. It's not fiberboard anything like that but this is uh and there's a light up here if i can find it there's a light there so it will light up here the spare tire i'm probably going to take out I mean, i've got a mount to mount it on the back bumper um that's probably what i will do with that but this is the floor it's uh it's the plastic floor if you go to cedar creek's video they show you how the cedar creeks are built but you can see it kind of uh, buckles up over there. Um, I was told anything that goes in here could get wet. So if you don't want things to get wet, do not put them in here. Hence, I will probably just take some sealant and just seal it off. That way, it will help. And behind that is all the connections for the hydraulics. And in here are two 30 pound tanks. Came full that was nice especially when I traded in my other one in and they were both full this one here really makes my wife and I really upset it's got all scratches on it which it'll probably get scratched but they were supposed to fix that two weeks ago never did here's the cord and this probably weighs about 20 pounds but I'll probably never use it because I got that I bought the small adapter and then I'll, do, I'll just run my 30 amp cords as long as I'm not running two ACs, I can run a 30 amp. It has a light here, has a light on the other end. It's all wide open. And these doors, you can see how thick they are. This door is insulated. But for now, I just have to just open that. Two speakers outside. They sound like tinny, tin, tinny, tin, tin cans. Uh, 16 inch aluminum wheels. I thought they were LTs, but they are STs. Which kind of sucks, but when I got to get tires, I'll get LTs. Um, this is what they're saying. This is their screen door, whatever you want to call it. It's like a, it's like shrink wrap, but it's really thick. I'm sure, you know, our dogs don't jump on here. Dog, we have one. Had three. Previous videos, you've probably seen uh, crippled, medicated, and stupid. But anyway, has a light here for the step. And these steps are weird. I mean, for me... That one folds, I'm used to fold, 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 where they all fold in. This one, you fold that in, and this is like, you lift and push it in. I don't know if I like that or not, but it's, it's different. But they're nice and solid steps. A nice feature here is those are full steps, really. They're, you can get your foot on there, or uh, Copper Canyon there, about like this. And they were carpeted and really slippery in the morning when you're tired. But oh, I was going to open half these curtains. But this here, the table and chairs, uh, which we never had table and chair before. This is the uh, the couch, which is a a full pullout. No, well, it's no, it's a half pullout. It's a pullout bed, which I got a three-inch memory phone to put on there for from my mother-in-law when she sleeps over. Comes with a 39-inch TV. Speakers stick straight out the bottom, which is really stupid, but I don't design them. I just buy them. But uh, fireplace with the remote. We weren't sure if it came with a remote. Nobody could tell us. There's nothing anywhere, but it does have a remote. The TV, or I should say the DVD, is operated through the TV. Just put the TV on AV. It's got four speakers in each corner right here. That it really needs, really needs bass. Really bad. It's like there's nothing. Comes with two Lazy Boy <clears throat> recliners, rocker recliners, and they're nice. They're I won't say they're full size, 
but I've never had a Lazy Boy, and now I own two of them, and they are comfortable. And I did read on the internet on the Cedar Creek, the parts are man are guaranteed for life. I'm sure in the little brochure there, probably tells you that. But the cabinets, um, all the lighting is LED up there, which is nice. They do get hot, because that one under there has been on uh, since I came home. Last night I had 3 in the morning, or 2 in the morning, but uh, I think it's a 10 cubic foot refrigerator, which is what we had to upgrade to last time. Yeah, it's pretty decent size, so that's good. The freezer. Oh, look, Tom's driving. All right. A full size Whirlpool microwave, which it does work. We used it last night. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky, for the roast beef. That was really, really good. A uh, little area up there. Uh, countertop there. This is a huge countertop from here to here. This is really nice. It's got an outlet under here. The drawers that pull out, they're full pulling out, whatever you want to call them, full drawers, and they're actually fairly deep. They're that deep. And they open and close really nice. And uh, there's a drawer under here that pulls out, drawer under here that pulls out. Uh, just storage down there. There's no pantry. There's no pantry. <coughs> and drawers. That's all the stuff I got to go through, get a folder for all of that. And... Uh, the toilet. Oh, the toilet. I'll go over to the toilet. Nobody shows you the toilet. I will show you the toilet. Um, all the cupboard space in here, and they are full deep. It goes way up to well, half my arm there, so that's decent size. Has a closet, which we got the vacuum stuff in there already. Has central vac down there. A dirt devil. Up here is uh, the fantastic fan, which is a rain sensor in the kitchen, or excuse me, in the well, the kitchen, the living area. There's only one. There's one here, there's one in the bathroom, and one in the bedroom. They're all fantastic fans. This one has a rain sensor on it, and the one in the bedroom has a rain sensor on it, which is cool. This is stupid. I mean, I know why they do this. It makes it more elegant. They hide it. But to turn the lights on, you have to open this and hit this switch to make the lights go on. How stupid is that? Come on, really? Put it right here. Put it right here. Put it. Put it right here. Cause that's probably where I'm going to move this. Probably just going to move it right there. And then uh, the other one is the ceiling lights here. It operates the four in the back. But it's it's I don't know. And then you have the ceiling fan. And then uh, it does come with the water pump and the water heater. Obviously, this is the tank heater. There's three tanks on here. There's two gray. Um, or excuse me, there's, yeah, there's a black water, I just went through them, and the fresh holdings, so there's four tanks on here, all together, and they all have tank heaters, 12 volt tank heaters, it's just a pad, like a heating pad, and it's got an electric awning, not very big, it kinda, there's not a lot of room right here, so when you put it out, it's like, you can see, if it's raining at all, you're gonna get wet anyway, chopper, you're playing in the bushes, and nice, steps right there's the uh the control panel all your fuses and that and uh well at least it's got a rug already here the toilet i'm gonna make sure there's nothing in it nope nothing in it this is the it's got swirls all the way around are there i don't think there's any water pressure no it just the water comes out in swirls and it's nice it's a very nice toilet as nice as toilets can be <coughs> excuse me the shower is a three-door shower. You pull that, and then that knob catches that, and then that center one just <coughs> does what it wants, I suppose. But uh, that's pretty nice. You just got to remember to uh, latch that, and it's a pretty nice. It's nice and sturdy lock. Full shower. It just looks a lot nicer than just a plastic. Um, the medicine chest, whatever. It's like. Why oh, even have it? It's pretty tiny. They could have came, you know, brought it another four inches, save some space here. The sink is actually at an angle, which is kind of cool. You turn it on here, wash your hands, and whatever. <coughs> now, full mirror. Um, oh, this is for your towels, linen. It's not very big, but again, they never are. 
and this is the other fantastic fan but this one here is automatic I gotta open it and then there's the on off switch there but it's operated by this one here and it goes on and you turn that on and yeah you can feel the air coming in and I did get covers I'm gonna put a cover on this one and then one in the uh, kitchen area this is the master bedroom this is the king now is it a real king no because we have a king in our bedroom and with wise when my wife is on her side and I'm on my side I can't touch her by rolling my arm over and uh, with this one I can actually I can touch her I can roll over and touch her but uh, and then she's leave me alone anyway it's got the coat hooks over there uh, it is plumbed wired prep for second AC which you take out this fan and it goes right here and it's got uh, a TV, I don't know if that's like a 20 inch or something like that. Um, it works, turn it on. <clears throat> and full closet here. I'll turn the light on. It's got a little hockey pipe, hockey puck type light with a little on off switch. It is plumbed for washer and dryer, or washer, right there. It's got the drain hose. And the dryer actually is over there, but I'm sure it's probably behind there, but uh, Oh, drill dryer vent hole there. So anyway, that's where that is. Um, but we'll probably never do that. Uh, in fact, I know we never will. And there's a cupboard space there. Um, a full hanger with extra hanger. So it's a nice rod. It's not that cheap <coughs> fiberboard rod, whatever you want to call it. But uh, mirrors and the latches are actually... That clear plastic, those they tend to break like once a year, twice a year. This one here is uh, it's a pretty nice plastic. I should say it's it's a flexible plastic. <clears throat> a little area here. This will probably be where you throw the pillars at night. Again, the drawers come all the way out, and they're fairly deep. And a door that actually opens and closes, which is really sweet. And that's about it. Um, the uh, oh, the counter with the sink, a stove with stainless um, drawers. It has uh, down here you can slide that out, but it's yeah, kind of useless. But it does slide out. And this here, this full.